Hello everybody. Hope you all are doing well and staying safe. Dimple here again welcoming you all to today's session on Android Framework Components and probably I think this will be my last uh, video in uh, 2021. Uh, what I wanted to show you all, I wanted to show you all how to create a custom HIDL. So how to write your own HIDL, where exactly to add the different files, what are the commands to run so that you can inform AOSP about the newly introduced HIDL. And once you give full build, um, your HIDL will start working. But before doing that, I just wanted to tell you all some keywords, some syntax and important concepts, which will help us in in the next tutorial where we will write our own HIDL. So uh, I'm referring your uh, android.com uh, website and uh, just I uh, request you all to just go through these before writing our own HIDL. Okay, so grammar, uh, we will know, uh, we will come to know how to add a multi line comment and what the documentation mean, how to add a single line comment. It's almost the same uh, like how we use in Java. Um, but yeah, just uh, before writing our own HIDL, we can just uh, go through these, like how to import, export all these different examples we can follow, which will help us to write our own HAL file, dot .hal file. So this is how the uh, sample dot hal file is looking like it will have a root items it will have the package name so package name is very very important okay so package name should be there and we can use this extends generates keyword uh, one important thing i wanted to tell you uh, generates is used to uh, return the different values so in java and all we use return type right but here in dot hal files we will use this uh, keyword called generates okay uh, and the different uh, integers like 8t new integer 16 32 bit float double boolean string the different data types size also we can declare if you have any enum entry this we can declare so i'll not go through every terminology i just wanted to tell you all uh, uh, i hope you all are uh, familiarized with what is binderized whenever there is uh, a different process from the caller and the callee that is called as binderized and you all know what is asynchronous extends you all know when to use extend this is important okay generates so indicates an interface method that returns value to the client this is the method which will have the return values so instead of using the return keyword we will use generates interface you all know when to use one way this is another keyword i wanted to tell uh, whenever the hal or hidl do not have any return value we call it as a one way okay one way hal or one way hidl that also i wanted to tell pass through everyone knows package name everyone knows when to use how to use server ah, another important thing is this transport so there are different types right pass through and binderized you have to somehow tell your aosp which type of uh, hidl you have created okay so for that we use this transport keyword this transport keyword we have to add in the manifest file i will show you all the location of the file in my next uh, session so under this transport tag we have to declare either a binder or pass through method we would like to use for our hidl and version is used to declare the uh, version of the HIDL which we write. So these are the different terminologies. I didn't go through every terminology. Important ones I just wanted to tell. You should be aware of the version. Transport. What do you mean by one way? Generates here. Uh, I think that's enough to get started. And one more uh, important thing is that we will use this uh, tool called Hidl Gen. Okay. Hidl iPhone generation. What we have to do? We have to write our own HAL file okay and this hal file we have to give input to this hidl gen so this will be our input and this hidl gen will automatically generate few header files and few c++ files which is uh, very much required to tell the system service about the existence of our hidl 
so uh, this one thing i wanted to show you all here is hidden gen is used to auto generate few files and only one file whenever i think of writing a new hidl my own customized hidl i should have only one file called dot hal file okay so my uh, implementation everything whichever functions i am using the return types i am using everything i have to define in this dot hal file and keep it ready then i have to use few commands where i will input this file to this hidden gen tool and this tool will automatically generate these header files and uh, interface files dot h files dot cpp files to me using this my aosp will understand about the newly created hidl and then we can proceed further so yeah this was a short uh, session where i just wanted to tell few important keywords and uh, concepts key concepts i'll meet you all in my next session where i will be uh, showing you all how to write your own uh, hidl custom hidl until then everyone stay tuned take care stay home and stay safe bye